What's going on, everybody out there? This is Popular Stranger, and we are back at you again today with another Madden 24 Ultimate Team video. We got early reveals for the Ultimate Legends that will be dropping in-game tomorrow morning. Let's go ahead and jump right on into it and show you the cards. We're going to start with the defensive set Ultimate Legend. It is going to be Darrell Revis. Now, a big part of the Ultimate Legends as of late has been X-Factors baked in as abilities on these cards or just really good baked in abilities. For Darrell Revis, they gave him bottleneck i'm not so sure that this is a good look it's normally an x factor and once you're in the zone with bottleneck basically you're good at press man coverage my only problem here and i gotta test it out and see for myself but my only problem is that for the most part press man coverage this year is pretty bad now will bottleneck make it better or will it not that remains to be seen because i don't think there's too many people out there using the bottleneck x factor if it's good then this card will be very good because he's a man-to-man -man archetype Obviously, the attributes are great, but most cards have great attributes at this point in the year when they're a 99 overall. Remember, he is a little bit on the shorter side. I'm very curious to see what zero AP abilities he get. Will it be a deep route KO? Will it be a short route KO? I think he'll probably make a pretty good slot cornerback. And for all of you that run a lot of zone coverage, this card might not be the best for you. Again, we're going to have to wait and see what abilities this card gets. But I can't help but think that if they would have gave him universal coverage instead of bottleneck, this card could have been 100 times better. But 98 speed, 99 acceleration, press coverage at 98, zone and man both at 99. We'll wait and see what happens as far as the abilities go when it's in game tomorrow. Now on the opposite side, over on offense, the set ultimate legend is going to be Eagles legend John Runyon with a baked in secure protector. So that's definitely a W there. 98 strength, 98 awareness, 98 pass block 99 run block since he's already getting baked in secure protector for zero you have to wonder what other two discounted abilities he's going to have and if he gets a threat detector on there for one or two ap are we looking at like a post up or all day or nasty streak and you're going to be able to get two zero ap abilities along with the secure protector this will certainly make him the best right tackle in the game i know i'll be picking up this card unfortunately that means it's going to be the end of the road for the season six lane johnson that i have on the team right now since this one will also get eagles cam so a very boring card because it's an offensive line but this could end up being a very very good card especially if you need him for a theme team but even if you don't he's going to be the best right tackle in the game and then we have the ltd and ronnie lot and this is another one that potentially could have been way better but i definitely like it now it's kind of bad news because this is now the third ltd free safety that we've had in the ultimate legend promo and over the last month or so we had brian dawkins and we had mike renfield and when they showed the teaser images for the ultimate legends it was pretty clear that this one was going to be ronnie lott but the biggest question was will he be the ltd and the answer is yes so we have now a third ltd free safety maybe he brings the price down on the other two cards don't forget there's still golden ticket mean joe green as well but i still see this card being somewhat expensive his baked on ability which is normally an x factor is going to be reinforcement this will make him not only a good high safety for coverage but also could be a pretty good sub linebacker he is six foot even but with reinforcement when you're entered in the zone in this case because it's an ability you'll always be in the zone and it's not going to take an x factor slot um this is going to increase your chance of defeating run block so that's going to be great as a sub linebacker and disrupting catches via tackle so it's almost like a knockout ability again obviously the attributes are really good here 99 speed zone and hit power and remember how good his super bowl card was for a very long time if he gets a deep zone ko and a pick artist together for zero ap plus the reinforcement uh, we're looking at one of the best free safeties in the game i think many would say mean joe green is still going to be the better card but i think this card will end up being less expensive i still think it's easily over a million coins probably closer to two million coins but you have a bunch of really high-end free safeties to choose from now in mutt 24 so earlier today i put out a video going over the best free 99 overall ultimate legends to choose from this competitive field pass pack and if you guys missed that video be sure to go check it out but we just want to give you an update now that we know what two new set ultimate legends are going to be in the game tomorrow today is friday which means we got brand new competitive pass objectives 
new much champs objectives, new solo battles, new head-to-head -head seasons. That's going to mean more XP. More XP means more rewards. The further you can get down the reward path, no new milestone rewards just yet. We'll probably see those next Friday. But I think with all of the new XP into the game now, as people start to grind through the comp pass and play head-to-head -head seasons and house rules and solo battles and whatnot, not house rules, I'm sorry, much champs uh, and head-to-head -head seasons and solo battles, they're going to get to level 26 and level 26 gives you a free BND 99 overall Ultimate Legend Fantasy Pack. So as I said earlier, I put out a video going over the best cards to take from this pack. I included five different options. I think both of the cards that are coming out tomorrow are definitely worth taking a look at. So if you happen to unlock this pack tonight or tomorrow morning, or if you already unlocked it, I would recommend hanging on to it and waiting to see what abilities these two set cards get. Ronnie Lott will not be in this pack. But again, if Darrell Revis gets some really good knockout abilities, if you run a a lot of man coverage because I think that's what they're going to end up giving him. That could be a good card to choose. On the flip side, John Runyon at right tackle with secure protector for zero AP and likely two more abilities for zero AP. And I'm really curious to see what happens if he gets threat detector, which is a great ability. Um, that could end up actually being the best pick in this pack because it's a position that you'll be able to select at right tackle and literally not have to upgrade it for the remainder of the year because of that ability stack. So one more time, I would recommend hanging onto this pack or if you're getting pretty close to level 26 you might want to start grinding for this pack like right now tonight tomorrow morning you know knock out whatever objectives you're comfortable with between much champ solo battles and head-to-head -head seasons and then just one more time you know most of you probably know this but i'm sure there's one person that's watching one of my videos uh, for the very first time right now so shout outs to you make sure you hit that subscribe button make sure you're up to date on your ultimate legend solo challenges we are still a couple weeks away from this but if you get to 64 Ultimate Legend tokens, you can trade those in for a free Ultimate Legend of your choice. And we are now getting pretty close to the point where if you look at the Milestone Rewards and scroll all the way towards the bottom here, um, we're going to be getting close to a second set of 64 Ultimate Legend tokens, which is going to mean a second free Ultimate Legend of your choice. And there's no doubt that the two set cards that are coming out tomorrow would be included in that set redemption as well. But we got more cards on the way. I don't think this promo is going to end till late June, maybe even early July, probably before College Football 25 comes out. And the way that these cards have been released over the last like month to a month and a half with these baked in abilities and sometimes those abilities being X factors, these have turned into some of the best cards in the game, even over golden tickets. And no golden tickets tomorrow, by the way. Last Saturday was just kind of like a one time thing. Next drop for Golden Tickets will likely be this upcoming Tuesday, along with part two of Theme Team All-Stars, and we'll see what other content we get next week. But we'll see you back tomorrow morning once this content's in game. We'll check out those abilities. Thank you for watching this one. My name is Popular Stranger. I'm out. Peace.